Good morning. Beautiful morning. The skies have cleared. Uh, my name is Kevin Hennessy. I'm the Senior Policy Director for Dominion Energy. Thank you all for coming out today. My first message is going to be about safety. Obviously, we had a lot of rain. We're on wet parking area. I see wires in front of me. Please be careful here on site. Be cautious. If you don't know where you're going, if you're a visitor, ask someone. We've got a lot of blue jackets here. They're all part of our team of One Dominion. So talk to an employee. Ask them where you need to go. We have restroom facilities in the, in the building to my right, uh, to your left over there at the fitness center. Uh, but let's be safe. Let's be conscious as we celebrate today. We don't want to have any uh, mishaps. So we're thrilled to be here. It's been a long journey, uh, multiple years, and we've got the governor with us today who helped get us over the finish line uh, for a, a positive uh, a resolution with regard to the Millstone Power Station. So a few weeks ago, we filed an executed agreement that would ensure that Millstone operates for at least the next 10 years. That means there will be 10 more years of employment, 10 more years of carbon-free electricity, and 10 more years of stable and reliable power right here in Southeast Connecticut. There were so many people involved in this, employees, contractors, partners in the community, elected officials, business partners, uh, a myriad to thank, too many, but it, it was a team effort and we all came together as we do in Connecticut when we have to grapple with a serious issue and we had a good outcome. I am especially pleased to have Governor Lamont and his team, Lieutenant Governor Beisowitz and Commissioner Dykes here today with us. This week actually marks Governor uh, Lamont's 100th day in office. And on behalf of, <laughs> on behalf of the 1,500 women and men that work here at Millstone, thank you. Thank you for your leadership. You were able to facilitate negotiations, get us in the room. We had three utility companies working together, not always the easiest uh, group to get together. We got together, we hashed out a great deal for Connecticut that ensures that Millstone continues to operate. A mainstay in this entire process that started off as a legislative uh, initiative that had enabling legislation was Commissioner Katie Dykes. She's a nationally recognized thought leader on energy and climate policy and has been involved in this issue throughout. Commissioner Dykes, I'd love to invite you up to the podium to say a few words. Well, good morning, everyone. It's a great day to be here, and I appreciate uh, the opportunity to speak before this great crowd. I see all these blue jackets, and, uh, and I just want to really acknowledge um, the tremendous work that the men and women uh, that work here at the Millstone Nuclear Power Plant do every day to run the facility safely and efficiently. You and your colleagues in this highly skilled workforce make crucial contributions to your communities, and the well-paying jobs at Millstone are so important to the economy of this region and to the uh, safe operation and reliable operation of our entire New England electric grid. So I just want to recognize the important work that you do every day here at this facility. I know the governor is going to have a lot more to say about this in a few minutes, but I want to say having worked on this issue uh, around the future viability of the Millstone uh, nuclear, the economic viability of the nu nuclear facility, um, you know, over these last few years, this has been sort of a, 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 a journey. Uh, where we have done a lot of evaluation at the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection uh, that has reinforced our understanding and, and critically, the entire region's understanding of how essential this power plant is uh, to meeting our various policy objectives, whether that's uh, continuing our progress uh, to achieve a, a, a zero carbon grid. Um, this facility uh, is absolutely essential by providing about half of Connecticut's energy demand from a zero carbon resource. It is incredibly uh, important to us meeting the urgent uh, challenge of climate change. 
It's also incredibly important to maintaining reliability of our power grid. We know that during the winter time when we have prolonged periods of cold winter weather, a lot of the gas-fired power plants out there on our grid are not able to get uh, fuel and run. And it's a facility like Millstone, uniquely um, like Millstone, that is uh, so important to maintain the electricity that we need uh, for a safe uh, uh, and thriving economy. And so uh, this, these past few years, a couple of winters, have really reinforced how critical this facility is and the work that you do every day is to the entire New England region. So I appreciate that. <clears throat> the, the question of how to uh, uh, ensure the continued viability of this plant has been a challenging one. Uh, we want to make sure that as Connecticut is proud to be the host uh, of this important facility, uh, we know the importance that it provides to the local economy, especially here in Waterford, and the uh, and supporting uh, well-paid jobs uh, in this region. It's so vital to uh, maintaining our, our economic thriving in the state of Connecticut. Um, and we have to make sure that as Connecticut steps up um, to help support the continued viability of this plant through purchasing uh, a large quantity of its power over the next decade, um, that we're doing that in a way that's, that's a, a good deal for all of the ratepayers in Connecticut. And I, I just want to thank our two electric utilities that really engaged in this, uh, in this negotiation over the last few weeks. Um, with the governor driving uh, that conversation, the urgency of that conversation, we were able to negotiate uh, a, a lower price, uh, which will ensure the continued viability of the plant, um, but also do so in a way that's more affordable for the ratepayers of Connecticut. And, and that's a, a really a tremendous accomplishment. So. <clears throat> So today we're really celebrating a millstone milestone, uh, which is that we've advanced this agreement. Uh, we think it's a really good deal. The department was, has been proud to be part of that conversation. And now we know that uh, this, this contract is now before the Public Utilities Regulatory Authority, and they will be doing an independent review um, to evaluate the contract and make a determination of whether it is in the best interest of ratepayers. So this final step is required before we can declare this a done deal. But today we're here to celebrate this milestone, that we've advanced it to this point, and that is really a credit to the governor's leadership and the lieutenant governor. You know, he, in his first hundred days, he's tackled um, this complicated issue in a way that's bringing us a win-win of a continued, you know, strong economic force here in the southeast part of the state um, at a lower cost to the ratepayers of Connecticut. And it's a, such a great honor to work uh, for this governor, uh, for Governor Lamont and for Lieutenant Governor Weisowitz, whose leadership on climate and, and energy in just the first hundred days brings ambitious, bold policies that will have impacts for generations to come. Securing this resource for the next 10 years will help us uh, continue our progress as we move to invest in new types of renewables like offshore wind, which we know will also be a critical uh, driver of economic development for this part of the region. So there's no one better to speak to the intersection between good energy policy and economic opportunity for Connecticut workers and families than our Lieutenant Governor, Susan Beisowitz, who I'm proud to introduce. Thank you. Commissioner Dykes, thank you so much for your leadership. We're so proud to uh, have you on our team. It is a great day uh, to be here in Waterford to celebrate with you. Uh, it is uh, wonderful to be with the many employees from uh, Millstone to celebrate, to be here with our partners from uh, organized labor and to be here with leaders from the legislature. And I'm just going to ask Norm Needleman to come up. He's a state senator who chairs the uh, Energy Commission. Uh, the Committee Can. And if there are any other legislators, please join us because you're part of our team. We appreciate your leadership. So we're here to celebrate something that is uh, a, a great deal for the employees. We are saving 1,500 good paying jobs and <laughs> and we are supporting an additional 4,800 jobs which are supported by Millstone. So thousands of jobs were on the line and we were able to save them. This is also something that's good for our economy. 
because every year $1.5 billion in economic benefits come from Millstone. So this is important, uh, and over the next decade, billions of dollars in economic benefits will be generated. Um, this is also good for our economy because uh, job creation and business activity and development depend on clean, reliable energy. This is also really good for our environment. Uh, a shutdown, uh, if we couldn't come together uh, to put together a good deal uh, as we have, um, we would have lost. 25% um, carbon emissions would have gone into the environment. That's not good. We were able to uh, make sure that didn't happen. This also allows us to invest in uh, solar power and in wind energy, so we are preparing for uh, future green, clean energy. That's important as well. This is also a good deal for consumers because it reduces by 50 percent the incremental rate rate payers uh, would have had to pay, and so uh, it's good for the consumers. Also, consumers are going to benefit because we're not going to have blackouts. We're going to have a reliable uh, source of power. Sixty percent of the homes in our state get power from Millstone. So it was really critical that we came forward with this, this good deal. Uh, and it couldn't ha have happened uh, without the efforts of Governor Lamont, uh, because he worked with governors across New England uh, to make sure that we were working together, because this is a grid that the New England states share. Uh, and also, the governor is, is someone who is committed to making sure that business and labor work together for a successful result, because when that happens, we all win. So it is uh, uh, a good day to celebrate. Uh, thank you for having me here. And with that, I'd like to introduce my partner in government, Ned Lamont. Good morning, everybody. I love being here. 100 days. We're doing okay. And uh, to Paul and Tom and Dominion and Millstone and each and every one of you who are here today, you're great partners for the state of Connecticut. And I'm glad we're able to say that for at least another uh, 15 years and keep on counting as far as I'm concerned. And uh, you're... Well, Millstone has been a great partner for a number of reasons. Um, you know, 1,500 really good paying jobs represented by the people who are here today. Everybody wants to get up, work their heart out, and uh, that's what you do, and I'm glad you're here. Uh, you've been an amazing partner for us because, as Susan just said, um, represent over 50% of our power, um, you know, almost all of our carbon free power. Uh, this is really important um, to the future of the state on environmental grounds and on economic grounds. Um, and in terms of just the reliability of what we've got to do, if I'm going to focus like a laser beam on creating jobs, doing everything I can to give business and small business a reason to be here, you know, I can't have, uh, you know, headlines that say, oh, the, the lights may go out. And uh, that uh, was a potential risk. And... Um, and I, as I sat down with, you know, Katie Dykes, and we were saying, what do we do? I had been in office for, what, a, a week or two, and I got the RFP, and, uh, you know, oh, my gosh, uh, the rates are uh, going to go up. And uh, I said, well, Katie, um, well, what are our options, Katie? And she said, well, uh, you know, uh, I said, well, how about all the uh, solar and the wind? Well, that's good over the next 20 years or so. Um, uh, we didn't have a lot of options. And... Um, and I've never been in a position where as a business that I didn't have a lot of uh, options. And, um, and that's when I sat down, uh, our team sat down with Paul and Tom. This is what a good partner is all about. Because uh, we had to make a deal. 
and uh, we made a good deal. We made a good deal that was good for the ratepayers, good for the future of the state of Connecticut, good for the environment, and good for stability of this region going forward. And um, I'll just tell you one other thing that I'm going to make sure that no governor is ever um, stuck in the same position that I felt a little like I was in, um, you know, 90 days ago. You know, that's why, as uh, Katie said, look, this is going to be um, what Texas is to oil and West Virginia is to coal. I'd like to see this part of the state is going to be the hub of, um, you know, green power for the next generation and going forward. It starts right here at Millstone. It starts right here at Millstone. Um, I'm talking to the nuclear scientists. They say there's like, you know, a lot of legs still in this plant. Don't you worry, we can keep going. It's worked down the street and what we got going in New London and State Pier and uh, wind power and making sure that that's going to be a complement to solar power as uh, time goes on. It's our investment in uh, the Green Bank. We've sort of held off on that for a while in a short change, and that's going to provide financing for more uh, future renewable power. It means energy efficiency and no longer shortchanging that. And what that means is this is a, a state that's going to continue to stand on its own legs, green power, and uh, push our energy independence. And I've got to tell you something else. You know, I said, Katie, what are our options? Uh, how about all that natural gas I read about? Well, we couldn't get the pipelines in from Massachusetts. How about all that hydro I keep reading about? Well, we can't get that down. Well, how about all the fracking coming up from Pennsylvania? We didn't have a lot of options. And uh, that we do now, and that's going to change. And as uh, Susan mentioned, um, it was a partnership with Dominion that is really powerful, that goes back 40 years, and we continue. It was also a partnership with my fellow governors. And, uh, you know, I was a little new to this game, and uh, so I called up Gina Raimondo, and I called up Charlie Baker, and I called up the other, um, you know, governors of the region. I said, look, Millstone is... Uh, really important to Connecticut, and it's also really important to our region. And uh, it's important from an environmental point of view, and if there wasn't a millstone here, think what that would mean to your communities as well, and the potential for rolling blackouts and risk we have there. And I'd like you to step up as well. We'll take the lead. Millstone's in our state. I know what it means for Connecticut. But I need you to up your um, commitment to uh, carbon-free power as well and give Millstone the confidence that there's going to be a market going forward for the power they represent. And every governor, both sides of the aisle, stood up and signed the letter making this commitment going forward. And I think that helped a little bit in our discussions, Tom, going forward, that you know how important you are to this region. So... You know, that's the way I like to govern. I like to work with people in a collaborative way. I like to treat people with respect. And I think sometimes if you, um, you know, look people in the eye, you can find a fair deal for uh, everybody on um, all sides of that table. And that's what this day represents, I think. When it comes to labor, and it comes to good paying jobs, when it comes to the environment, and it comes to the future economic viability of the state, uh, Connecticut and Millstone are great partners. And thanks for keeping that going a little bit longer. Thank you, Governor Lamont. Uh, really inspiring, and we're thrilled to have you as a partner as well. Uh, I would like to call up one of my colleagues from here at Millstone, Dan Brown, who's our supervisor in training. Dan actually used to work at a power plant that Dominion owns in Wisconsin, Kiwani, that didn't have the, uh, the fortunate outcome that we had here in Connecticut. So Dan wants to uh, share a few thoughts. First and foremost, I'd like to say Thank you to the governor for coming to Millstone today. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. As Kevin said, I was an employee at the Kiwani Power Station in Wisconsin when we shut that unit down a few years ago. Uh, I had to relocate my family from Wisconsin to Connecticut. Uh, I've seen firsthand the devastation that a plant closure can have on a region right, to the individuals, to the family, and to the community. I was worried that was going to happen here. 
right? But governor, under your leadership, uh, we've got a positive outcome. Not worried about that anymore. So my colleagues and I here at Millstone and through Dominion want to say thank you, right, for all your hard work and what your team has done to ensure the success of the Millstone Power Station for its continued operation. And thank you uh, for your leadership so we have a better outcome than what we did in Wisconsin. Thanks again. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Uh, it's, we have wonderful people like Dan throughout this plant, working here, living in this community. So uh, thank you on behalf of everyone. Uh, another person that knows a little bit something about jobs is, uh, is Keith Brothers, who's the president of the New London Norwich Building Trades. I'd like to invite Keith up to say a few words about what this means for Keith and his members. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Good morning. Uh, first, a shout out to my building trades brothers and sisters that <laughs> put up this tent this morning. Uh, we appreciate that. Uh, good morning, Governor Lamont, Lieutenant Governor Beiswitz, uh, Dominion President and COO Tom Farrell, Senator Paul Famica, and DEP Commissioner uh, Dykes. Thirty-three years ago, I entered the NAP gate at Millstone to begin my career as a building trades member and a member of the Labor's Union. Hundreds of the members I represent today have a similar story. For decades, Millstone has been a true partner with the building trades, providing quality jobs and a partnership that the men and women I represent value a great deal. Governor, your first stop after being elected was to Southeast Connecticut, where you assembled a group of legislative, municipal, business, and labor leaders, which I was proud to be a part of, to discuss your vision for Southeast Connecticut during your administration. The topic of jobs and the local economy were on the top of your list, and all the participants agreed that not only creating jobs, but protecting and strengthening existing jobs and business was a priority. I'm happy to stand here today and thank you for not only listening, but for your action and leadership Connecticut's new agreement with Millstone Dominion Power protects hundreds of jobs for the men and women I represent in the building trades. Jobs with, that pay a prevailing wage rate and include health and retirement benefits. We all know how hard it is in today's economy to create just one job. Governor, your vision and leadership has protected hundreds of building trades jobs at Millstone. 